Good Tuesday morning to you. This is Eastern PA Weather Authority meteorologist Bobby Marchrich with your April 2nd, 2013 outlook. And today's video outlook is sponsored by Sovereign Commercial Services, proud sponsor of the Northeastern PA forecast region of our website. Okay, we're starting off with the forecast weather meter like we usually do. And uh, we're giving today a rating of 5 on a scale of 1 to 10. And reason being, it's going to be much colder than normal uh, for this time of year and about 15 to 20 degrees colder than it was yesterday. So it's going to definitely feel like an abrupt change from what we saw yesterday. And especially with these winds, today's weather, we're giving a windy, the, the windy icon we're using here, uh, it's going to feel at times like the wind chills are in the 20s. So it's going to feel like early February rather than early April today. So it's going to be quite a shock. Fire weather danger for today is low. At the, and the UV index, we're giving a 5 on a scale of 1 to 11, which is a moderate level. Taking a look at the interactive radar, we do have some light flurries and uh, very light snow showers that are moving across central PA this morning. I wouldn't be surprised if a few of these got over here to eastern PA today, but uh, this is not a big deal. You might just see a stray flurry. And uh, the big deal, again, is going to be the wind today uh, and the temperatures. The temperatures uh, this morning... Uh, are, are still in the, are in the low 30s, but uh, we're expecting them not to really move too much. North Central PA, Northeastern PA, we're expecting the temperature to stay in the 30s. And then low 40s uh, from the Lehigh Valley uh, to Point Southeast, maybe mid 40s across, across New Jersey. But these areas yesterday were, you know, 60 or above. So it's going to be quite a shock. And then if you move ahead to, to uh, Wednesday, pretty much uh, the same thing, maybe a degree or two higher in temperatures, but pretty much the same thing, 30s or to near 40 up here, and then low to mid 40s across uh, east central PA and southeastern PA, maybe uh, upper 40s in South Jersey. Uh, then we move ahead to Thursday, we do expect some moderation in temperatures, we're getting up near 50 again, and then into the 50s as we get into uh, Friday and uh, Saturday, same thing, mid 50s, mid to upper 50s. Sunday, we... Uh, Still holding on to the 50s, but then uh, as we get into next week, Monday we're getting into the 60s. Tuesday we're getting well into the 60s. And then if the European model is correct, next Wednesday we'll be well into the 70s. So uh, now that this is at max range here, so I don't want to get everybody too excited thinking it's going to be, uh, you know, there's this big heat waves coming. But uh, it's something to keep an eye on because uh, the European model has been very insistent on this warmth coming here, while whereas the GFS has been backed off a little bit. So there is some model differences with that. So we'll get into that in the next couple days. But we do expect some kind of warm-up, whether it's six, 70s or not, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, first things first, we do need to get past a coastal system that's going to move through uh, this Friday. This is... Uh, this is this is Friday this Friday I'm sorry uh, from the Canadian model and it's now before it had rain getting all the way up into this area we had had rain getting all the way up into this area now and the, the models have shifted the low pressure down here and it's kind of heading off like this we were saying yesterday in the video that if it did come in a little bit further here this area here inside here would be uh, in some some uh, moderate rainfall but it doesn't look like that like that's going to be the case so it's a uh, European GFS and Canadian all have it pretty much down here. Actually, the Canadian, the European model is right here. This is the furthest southeast that it gets, uh, just over, just maybe to Philadelphia and Central Jersey. That's the closest the precipitation gets. You can see everywhere up here is now high and dry. Now you will have clouds to deal with, and this is this would be on on Friday, but uh, it doesn't look like there's going to be any precipitation in this area here. We are going to leave the shower possibility in the forecast for that area, but. Uh, you know, right now it looks like the the models are taking the system, uh, taking this system a little bit further southeast and having the low pressure down here, and then just heading northeast from that point. So uh, we'll leave it in the forecast for now, and then just deal with it as the time comes throughout the week. Uh, this is also Severe Weather Awareness Week, so on our website, if you go to our Severe and Tropics page, with the uh, and the icons right to the right of this video here, there is a vi uh, daily video that is featured each day that, that's different. Yesterday we had lightning set safety and today we're discussing flood safety. So if you want to take a look at that, it's about a two to three minute video on flood safety. And uh, we also have our uh, current threat levels are over here. Not any current, not expecting any thunderstorms or severe thunderstorms at the moment. So there is nothing indicating no current threats. But uh, during this week, between now and Friday, we'll have a different video featured each day, which you can check out. It's a two, three minute, minute educational video, and I suggest you take a look at that to be prepared for this upcoming severe season. That's all I have for today. I'm Eastern PA Weather Authority meteorologist Bobby Martrich with your April 2nd, 2013 outlook. Have a great day.